Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Meg from the Love and Stamps studio, and welcome this morning. Uh, today is Tuesday, so we have a project to share, and this is my last project featuring the super fun uh, Pets and More stamp set, this guy right here, and uh, I've showed you a few different ways to use this set. I love that these cute companion animals are just available for any occasion. There are no greetings in this set, so this is a perfect one to combine with a greeting set of your choice. And my choice today is Charming Sentiments, which will be uh, retiring. It's on the last chance list. If you haven't checked those out, uh, make sure you visit my blog and or my website and download that. Uh, or you can find the links for getting to my stuff in the uh, video description. So anyway, we are featuring that plus the very pretty... Is our sound back now? I think it should be. I think that our sound is back. So let me just double check there. You guys hear me again? All right. Uh, I'm gonna switch our camera over here and we are going to get started. Is My camera is not working though. That's funny. Well, how exciting is all of this? Uh, let's see. Let me try doing this. Oops, wrong one. Let's go here to this one. And I know you guys can hear me again, but the video didn't come back on my sound. So give me one second. I'm gonna jump out of here and I am going to um, get rid of this one so you won't hear me for a second, but I'm still here. <laughs> Okay, now I think you can hear me and you can see me moving, right? Gotta love technology. Just makes everything so exciting so early in the morning. And uh, let's see, I was gonna try and do this. but Okay, um, so we have the uh, cardstock all cut and I have um, our regular base card here. So this one is going to be the, uh, let's get this back here. I'm going to be the regular half sheet of cardstock. So this is included in monthly tutorials for the month of um, the month of uh, March. Yeah, Kelly says good morning. Yes, yes, it is. So normally um, this cardstock is four and a quarter by eleven, and I've gone ahead and cut off um, an inch and a quarter, so it's actually nine and three quarters. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this. And then what you want to do is, if you've never done one of these easel pop up cards, they're so simple. Um, you're going to take your paper trimmer here and you're going to pop your cardstock in. Um, get that cutting blade out of the way. We don't want that one, just the lighter one, uh, which is the scoring blade. And you're going to line up the score of your, the score center score of your card here with the tip of this corner and you're going to run that across there so that you end up with this diagonal score line. Okay? So really simple and then fold in half. And this is our card base. So comes together really nicely, and you can see kind of here how our diagonal pop-up is going to work. So 
Let's keep going with this one. All right, I have, like I said, our Charming Sentiments stamp set here. And for this one, let's do a, um, I don't know, hey there, what's new kind of card. Um, so this one is what's new, and here's hey there. And obviously, um, this stamp set, soon to retire, um, has a lot, a lot, a lot of greetings. It also has the dies that coordinate and cut out all these greetings so that you can have fun um, little die cut greetings here for your sentiments. So a really cool set. I'll be sad to see that one go. Um, but let's go ahead. We're going to do some stamping here with our what's new. And the colors that I've picked are Azure Afternoon and Fresh Freesia. And so I am going to pop this here um, onto our greeting uh, layer, which is actually going to go inside the card. And then um, this is what happens when you use a block that's a little bit too big for your supplies. Um, a note about that, there are three block sizes retiring. Um, there are two of them are ones that I use regularly. Um, the A block size, which is this little tiny square one, is retiring. And the, I'll get it, the G block size, which is really what I should be using for this greeting because um, when you have a big block, it's so easy to catch extra ink on things. The G block size is this little narrow one here. So if you um, want to add more, I love having um, these blocks. And if you want to add more to your collection, um, this is the time to do it because um, we are <laughs> going to say goodbye to those. So anyway... Um, and they won't be on the discounted list in April, so um, there's no sense in waiting for those. I would go ahead and pick those up as soon as possible. All right, so I've got um, my Fresh Freesia now, and we're gonna stamp this um, once in French Freesia and once in Bubble Bath. So I think, let's see, where's my Bubble Bath? That's petal pink. Um, I think it's Bubble Bath, yep. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to stamp the overlay part here, um, which is the, the detailed bird in our darker color in Fresh Freesia, and I'm going to overlap our greeting just a little bit so that it fits nicely with our punch, and then I'm going to do a real quick clean here on our stamp and flip this over, and then I am going to do bubble bath here for our over, or our repeat layer or over layer, whatever you want to call it. And I find um, that I like to stamp them. Um, there he goes, our, our two layer. Sometimes I like to stamp the background first. Sometimes I like to stamp the foreground first. You can experiment and see what works um, best for you. Lots of different possibilities. So now we're going to take this and I'm going to use um, another punch to go ahead and punch this out. Another slash, um, sadly retiring punch. This is the decorative circle punch. And we're gonna pop that out there. And so now we have this fun um, medallion here that we're gonna add to our card. So let's go ahead and set that one aside. And we're gonna come back here to our card and start piecing things together now. So this layer is gonna go inside and you'll see that the placement of our greeting is strategic on this. It's placed to the bottom right so that there is um, a space to uh, have our greeting show when the card is open. And then we have this strip here. Let me just double check the width of it. Um, an inch and a quarter is good, and or even a little tad larger. Um, this is gonna cover up that uh, space here and extend the decoration from the designer series paper so that it um, covers our piece that we trimmed off here. Does that make sense? So we kind of have that continuation there on the inside of our card. And you can see how that what's new is going to be right there for us. Have you guys tried one of these? I've shown you some um, cards uh, recently with this layout. So I'm hoping that people have given it a shot. Um, this is a three by three piece of card of designer series paper. And if you think about it, the designer series paper being six by six, um, this is actually the perfect uh, size to go ahead and use for this kind of card paper because it doesn't have any waste involved. You're just going to Go ahead and use that whole three by three there. And we're gonna pop this onto a layer of by three and a quarter, three and a quarter by three and a quarter to repeat our um, blue layer, the balmy blue. And this piece is going to be our main focal point here for the front of our card, okay? So let's talk about attaching this. 
Um, I would like to put it on dimensional so that it stands up a little bit, but I wanna make sure um, that I am being very careful not to seal our card shut. So make sure you know which is gonna be the corner at the bottom. And then make sure you put your dimensionals on, but not past this line here. Does that make sense? I'm gonna put one extra um, compared to what I usually would just because this is a panel, a pop-up panel, and uh, I don't want it to come off. It's a pop-up, not pop-off. And did I do that right? Yes. Okay, so now I can center this here on our square, and you'll see that my dimensionals are all under this part of it right there. So now we still have this pop-up element that works and shows when our card is partially open. All right, let's put our bird on here. This one is not gonna go anywhere, so I'm gonna just use one dimensional. I know, super shocking, Meg, being sparing with the dimensionals. You can use as many as you want, so. Um, all right, and then we're gonna go ahead and add two more things to this. One is going to be a sequin, and for this one, um, I'm using the pastel adhesive back sequins. There are lots of great choices um, in here. You could use any of these colors for our project. I think I'm gonna pop a blue one on, and I might use one of these bigger ones here. I'm just gonna pop one right there. And then we're going to add a um, stopper part here. And if you've been wondering why my uh, country bouquet, the heart here, is sitting around, it's because we're gonna use this. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and punch us, well, I've already punched, um, a heart here from our designer series paper. And this is going to fit right here to create our pop-up, okay? So when you attach this, there's some strategy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dimensional right here at the edge where it hits against our card. And that is going to go on like this. And there we go, okay. And now, if you want to, you can go ahead and you can add some more sequins here um, to our project. But what that is gonna do is there's a nice um, firm attachment point right here because this is gonna give a fair amount of pressure here as our card comes up against the edge. Hey, Margaret. Hey, neighbor in Illinois. Hey, Joan, uh, not a neighbor in Washington State. Uh, anyway, you want to have um, this stopper right here to be really strong. So. Um, that this isn't gonna just make this heart like flip off um, and so forth. So here's an example. I have this card version. Here's another one, the same card. And I did this um, a while ago, but it's been sitting up and you can see how this heart here, I didn't fix it because I wanted to show it to you. So the heart is like sliding and um, there are two possibilities for this. So one possibility is that you could choose not to put that dimensional right here. You could put a dimensional just here and that way, the heart shows as like a closed um, element, so you could do it like that. The only trick with that is that over time, um, it's going to not function quite as well as a stopper. It's gonna start to bend up a little bit. Uh, or you can do like we did here, and then the heart is gonna be underneath. So two different choices for you. Um, let's slide this one under. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you rather have I mean, clearly it's cuter with a heart showing on the front, but then the long term of it is to have that heart be a little bit um, sloppier. I don't know. What do you guys think? Another possibility is you could punch another piece of cardstock with your country bouquet punch, and then you could layer these two hearts together, and that would make this a little bit stronger so that when you um, had this set here, then it wouldn't bend quite so much. So I think maybe that's the best solution, right? So leave it um, unattached on the side, but strengthen it so that it doesn't pop off. All right, so you guys uh, have seen this card. Did you remember the other cards that I showed you with this suite? Um, we had the fun uh, Life is Sweet with You in It panel card, birthday wishes, um, with an, a Z fold there. We had our narrow Z fold card, and this one is uh, one of the card kits of the month. So you'll get this one, um, all the pieces to make this. You'll have to have your own ink and stamps but you'll get all the pieces to make this if you um, order at least $50 from my online store in the month of, what month are we in? March. And then this is the fourth one, and this is the other um, one that will come as a kit uh, in the mail, so with that, with that $50 order. All right, so in other, so there's those fun cards. In other fun news, um, these tutorials will be available. Um, they're free if you place any size order in my store uh, during the month of March. 
uh, as a PDF. The kits come with a $50 order. And then if you're not ordering, um, but you still want these kits and you're part of my demonstrator team, you'll get those um, as a link on, as a demonstrator uh, in the Loven Samples group. And if you none of those things apply to you, but you still want the tutorials, you'll be able to get them um, in April in my Etsy shop, which is Loven Stamps Card Mart. There's a link in the video description here. Uh, finally, don't forget that this is your um, this is your reminder to sign up for the um, partnership that I'm doing with my friend Lindsay in Canada. Um, it she runs the Why Did I Buy This series um, of stamping tutorials, and then obviously you're watching Maker Mores with Meg. So those two are getting mashed together for an extra bonus episode where both of us are going to keep doing what we're doing now, but we're going to add the Why Did I Buy This Maker Club. And that is a monthly subscription. You can sign up. There's a link in the video tutorial. And everyone is welcome. Um, if you're in Canada, your kits will ship from Lindsay. If you're in the US, your kits will ship from me. If you're international outside the US and Canada, um, then you can participate as a virtual only subscription. So you can check the details for more about that. But uh, it's gonna be really fun. It's like a monthly curated maker box with a bunch of product in it, kind of like a little mini product share. And we will get together for a bonus uh, Zoom session every month where um, we'll share some extra tips to make the most of the things that you already have, which is kind of the why did I buy this um, mission, as well as the things in the maker box. So we'll give you some more um, ideas to use for those. So, and uh, it's a little bit interactive, a chance to visit and craft and work on whatever you wanna be working on. So. Um, that'll happen once a month as a bonus episode. If you can't attend live, it's no big deal. You can attend um, or watch later in the virtual um, exclusive Maker Club Facebook group. So anyway, check out more details. Let me know if you have questions about that. In the meantime, if you need supplies, this is a great time to get some of those last chance things before they start to go out of stock. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I will look forward to... Uh, I will have a video for you on Thursday, um, so make sure you tune in again on Thursday for another episode of Maker Mornings with Meg. Um, we've got super bright colors and a really great card layout I'm excited to share with you. So happy stamping, everyone. Thanks for joining me this morning, and I'll see you next time on Maker Mornings with Meg. Happy stamping.